Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel listen y'all i'm feeling feisty today i woke up and i chose violence no i'm just joking <laughs> i can't oh it's just it's just the way it is right now joe it's just the way it is that's just the way it is <laughs> Let me stop. things will never be the same okay let me stop Listen, so before we find out who this, <laughs> before we find out who this uh, reading is for, all right? Um, I channeled a song before I even clicked on the uh, the thing, my Bob, okay? To film it, to film this. Um, it's called Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, okay? I know the Dixie Chicks sing this song as well, but yeah let's see but i'm pretty sure fleetwood mac is the originator of this song okay but yeah so the part that i kept hearing was this line right here in the song it says oh mirror in the sky what is love can the child within my heart rise above can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life? Uh oh. No, I'm just joking. Okay, listen. No, but for real. Um, that's the part I was hearing. So, um, it's just interesting that she says, Mirror in the sky, what is love? You know? It's like something here is being reflected back to her. Someone here could be reflecting, okay, a lot right now, whoever this reading is for. Or um, someone here could be reflecting a lot about you, okay, maybe a lot about the past. Maybe they're thinking a lot about the past. Um, maybe someone's having a, what's it called, an, exta, an existential moment. Man, I can't say the words. Child, you're going to have to just bear with me. I don't speak it in English too well. Let me see. Um, let's add a new one. Come on now. Oh, fuck. So close. Like someone's questioning existence, like their own existence, life itself, all right? This is the word I'm trying to say. Existential. Let me turn this bitch up right here. <laughs> Existential. Okay. Um, it says, relating to existence. The climate crisis is an existential threat to the world. Speaking of which. Let me get back to um speaking of which cuz this is this is this is ex I thought about that. I thought about talking about that subject. Okay, let me keep going because of the song, but let me keep going. It says um of a proposition affirming or applying the existence of a thing, an existential proposition that truth and reality are constructed fictions. right someone's like questioning someone's having some sort of crisis here all right let's keep going then she goes well i've been afraid of changing because i've built my life around you 
But time makes you bolder. Even children get older. <laughs> and I'm getting older too. Okay, you get the you get the gist. So this could be somebody here who's upper in age or something here, and they're finally like taking a moment and looking back on their life of like what has occurred. Someone here could be this could be you, like I said before, or this could be somebody else that you know that's thinking like this okay and maybe they're thinking about you um this song was released i believe in 1996 okay so something about that year could be significant um and the album that this song is from is called in the springtime of her voodoo so I don't know. Somebody here could have been doing voodoo, chow. Somebody here could have been doing some some voodoo, okay? On your ass. Um, maybe they did this in the springtime. Maybe of this year, last year, five springs ago, ten springs ago. Whatever it is, somebody here is now reflecting on the voodoo that they have done. Either on you or to another person. Okay, flip it where I need to go. All right? Wait, I lied. This is a whole nother album. This is a this is an album by Tori Amos. T Tori Amos? She did a cover to this song. My bad. I'm, I'm reading the wrong thing. But whatever. I said it in the reading, so something something about this is significant. Okay, so Stevie Nicks wrote this song while being in Aspen, Colorado. It says, When she spent some time with Lindsay Buckingham, surrounded by rocky mountains and snow, she thought, Wow, all this snow could just come tumbling down around me and there is nothing I can do about it. So I feel like what's going on in this situation is that there's somebody here that knows that there's some sort of impending doom and they know there's nothing they can do about it. So for instance, somebody here could have done some sort of um, Harry Potter witchery with a negative intention towards you or another person and they're realizing it's backfiring and it's gonna come ricocheting in their direction any moment, at any moment and they, they, they are feeling this and they're having an existential moment or a crisis like what's life, what did I do this for, what do, what do, I'm, whatever it is, okay, whatever they're questioning, <laughs> confirmation, okay, so Let's find out who this is for, child. Oh, Lord. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is going on? What do they need to hear at this time for the highest good? Who is this person? Excuse me. Who is this for, Spirit? Autopilot. Who is this for? Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm not taking two. Can I get one, please? Who is this reading for? We got Capricorn. Did I do y'all yet? Let's find out. Did I do the caps? We did Taurus. We did Cancer. We did Libra. We did Capricorn. So you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Or somebody here is experiencing a lot of excessive thoughts right now. Or, or this is the individual that is um, obsessed about you. They're obsessed over you. This could have even been like somebody here that was obsessed with trying to get you back in a relationship with them, whether it's platonic or romantic. And, you know, they, they went and did some sort of magic to do so. And some something, something's not going good. <laughs> something ain't going so right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this reading for? Can I get one card, please? I think I did like six of y'all already. What's this one? Aquarii? Did I do y'all already? I'm pretty sure I did. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone who has Aquarius somewhere in their chart. Someone here could be an Aquarius Capricorn cusp. I hope this music ain't too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. And then you can't hear it at all. See, that's what I don't like about this guy's name. I already did Aquarius. Okay. What's next? Can I get one, please? Who is this reading for, Spirit? 
Pisces. I feel like I did y'all already. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you guys can be dealing with a Pisces. Or you can have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Or you got a Capricorn, Aquarius, and a Pisces all up in your motherfucking energy right now. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this for? Can we get one card, please? Like, this is somebody here that's like all up in your energy more than your ass is. Or something. Like, somebody's all up in your business more than you are we got sagittarius someone here could be a sag they could have saggy somewhere in their chart did i do you saggy i think i did let me check let me check i did pisces aquarius saggy okay so you could be dealing with a saggers let me see let me see let me see let me see Somebody definitely could have been doing some sort of dream magic or, or something here or trying to infiltrate your dreams. Someone here could have been astral traveling towards you. Okay. Someone here is uh, feeling very overwhelmed now about something here. I'm also getting like... Someone's real... Someone is discovered... Like someone's trying to find out what's new or different in your life right now. Someone's being hella nosy is the vibe I'm getting. Okay. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. You don't have to be, though. Holy Spirit or an Aquarius Pisces cusp. What's going on? I feel like you're dealing with a cusper. Don't have to be, though. Or you're a cusper. Let's see. Who is this for? Can I get one one card, please, for who this is? is? Who this is? is? <laughs> who this is? Spirit. Come on, Spera. Okay, that's too many. Scorpio. Did I do y'all already? I don't know. Let's see. You guys can have Scorpio somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with someone with Scorps in their chart. Let's see. Did I do the Scorpsies? We did Libra. Cancer. I don't think I did. Okay, so I did Taurus. Cancer. Libra. Capricorn. Sagers. Aquarii. Pisces. Yeah, Scorpio, this is you. Ciao. Okay. So you can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. All right. Listen, y'all. Some something, something going down. You got someone all up in their head, Scorps. You guys could be dealing with the Virgo or someone who has Virgo somewhere in their chart. Flip it where I need to go, baby boo. Okay. I'm also getting like someone's trying to find like all the details about you or something like someone's being nosy that's all I keep feeling like someone's being nosy this could be someone who's like asking about you or asking around about you like oh have you um talked to so and so like someone's trying to like get updates about what you got going on in your life whether this is like through like people mutual people that you know like friends and family um or something let's see What's going on with my Scorp spirit? What do they need to know right now for their highest good at this time? What do my Scorpies need to know right now for their highest good? We have seventh house. So this could have been someone you were in a relationship with at one point, okay? Or in a business partnership. This could have been somebody that you used to work with. We got work here. We got the sixth house. Someone keeps trying to get updates on like, how how you are at work like what's your status at work or something someone keeps checking in on you periodically this could be someone here who's trying to like someone here is trying to be like your manager like someone here is trying to like micromanage you but like they're not your manager that could be something that you're going through don't have to be i'm also getting to like i don't know like something's gonna be restored when it comes to your when it when it comes to work okay maybe something here was out of balance at one point when it comes to like what you do for work your job your career um your business whatever it is okay um something is going to be put back into balance if something was out of whack is the vibe i'm getting i'm also getting like you could end up meeting like new um networking with new people like making new connections as well um or if there was like some sort of like um, conflict between you and someone else that you work with, someone wants to come in and co cooperate with you now, or they want to like balance something out here, whatever that may be. 1717 could be very significant, that angel number. It doesn't have to be work. This could be anything like somebody here. This could even be like an ex of yours. Your ex of yours, like, now wants to work something out with you. 
like in their mind they're realizing it's more beneficial to work with you instead of being against you is the vibe i'm getting um it doesn't have to be romantic though this is relationships in general okay families family siblings parents cousins uncles whatever you know what i'm saying someone's name is tina holy spirit holy angels what's going on what's happening Someone's name could be Arturo, Ruben. Okay, so we have Venus here. This is love. Somebody wants to be in love with you, child. This could be someone who's suppressing their emotions for you. We have the moon here. Or someone's been hiding how they truly feel about you, Cancer. Maybe somebody here in the past was trying to have some sort of level of control over you when it came to our relationship and they realized that's a no-go when dealing with you okay you could have moved away from this person or cut this person off or they did this to you flip it where it needs to go but um somebody wants to make something right with you okay i'm also getting to be careful scorps because this person this person could be someone who gets on your gas dang last nerve and this motherfucker want to come in and um ruffle your feathers or something someone here might want to try to get a reaction out of you as well because they know that you have um you're attracting good things towards you but this venus right now you're very magnetic okay you could be someone who's very beautiful or very handsome someone also knows like you're on the right timeline or you're you're like in the right frequency or you're emitting the right vibration to attract a balanced, harmonious relationship into your life. And someone doesn't want this for you. Whoever this individual is, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be a mother-in-law, a mother, a father, a father, a father, a father, or like a baby daddy, whatever it is. Okay. It's somebody. It's someone, child. Let me see what the hell going on. Let's do a... Uh Where's my favorite cards? Let me get these. Listen, y'all, these these are these this deck was very expensive. In my in my opinion, I feel like it was expensive. But I feel like it was worth it. I there's so many other decks that I bought that are super expensive and I don't even use them. Like this one right here. I don't even use it. I don't use it. You never really see me on this channel using this freaking deck. Maybe I'll use it today. I don't know, but something about that is significant. Okay, maybe... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody want to say... Maybe somebody wants to say they knew your value all, al all along, but they were afraid to, like... Maybe they... I don't know. Maybe someone wants to say, like, they didn't feel good enough for you, or... Um... Maybe someone just didn't get you or understand you is another vibe that I'm getting. Because I feel like the reason I don't use those cards is because they're very, like, non-descriptive. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe you're, like, a mystery, mystery. <laughs> Maybe you're mysterious. My mouth today. Ugh. Maybe you're mysterious to this person. And they couldn't figure you out, okay? So they kind of just counted you out or something like that. They're like, you're too hard to figure out, so I'm just going to put you over here. Oh, shit. Okay, so card fell on the floor. Ugh. We have needle. That's what fell. Okay. It says resources and potential to be successful. It says fixer. Repairing relationships, solutions, forward, connecting with others, overcome problems. So somebody here wants to like fix something with you for show. They want to fix something. They want to sew up this rip in your guys' relationship. Or this could be somebody you did a cord cutting with and they want to come back and they want to, you know, reconnect that cord, child. But, you know. What the hell is this? What's going on for my scorps? What do they need to hear, spirit? You you guys could be dealing with someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. Note the date. This could be you or someone else. Yeah, someone wants to compromise. That's the key word for this, uh... 
It's Chinese zodiac sign. Compromise. Someone wants to compromise with you, okay? Maybe in the past someone was real opinionated about something, or they made a a, a quick a quick opinion. They read. They uh, what's it called? They um judged a book by its cover when it came to you, okay? And they just wrote you off. Um, I'm also getting like this person could have been suspicious of you as well because of your mysteriousness, okay? Because someone here couldn't quickly put you know their finger on it when it comes to you so it's like they were like oh you're just whatever okay tell me more we have neptune okay passes someone here could be a passes something about your dreams maybe this person is dreaming a lot about you and it's like they don't know what to do with, about themselves when it comes to that all right we got sacrifice here as well mystery visionary maybe somebody here didn't see your vision okay so maybe maybe you discuss something with this person family lover business friend about your vision when it comes to like how you see the world or what you wanted out of life or what you want for your life whatever it is someone here couldn't grasp your vision at one point and maybe now they do over but it's been like a long time i feel like like a lot of time has passed and now they see your vision um I don't know. Maybe someone wants to come in and tell you that they were confused about something. Listen, I don't know if this music is too loud or not, y'all. I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> I can't. I need to stop. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell going on? <laughs> okay, so we have Ninth House. All right. Um, da 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 da. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, don't have to be. You guys could be dealing with someone who's a foreigner, okay, or you are, flip it where it needs to go. Um, someone here definitely wants to travel to you, or maybe you're about to get some sort of opportunity about you traveling somewhere. Or maybe somebody thought like you only wanted to be with them for like a green card. That's for some of you, not all y'all, okay? Um, I'm also getting like somebody here is like expanding how oh, their mind. Someone's expanding their mind. They're realizing like where you're coming from now. Maybe they didn't before. Okay, someone was confused. You could be ascending as well. We have um, Tiger here. Someone here could be real prideful about something. Or this could, you could you could just be dealing with a very prideful in individual. Someone's name could be Frank. Don't have to be. Or someone here was kind of like, I don't know. Somebody mis mistook your brave and passionate and like blunt communication as like aggressive or argumentative or something i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all we got tiger though you could be a tiger someone else could be a tiger flip over needs to go try out uh, i'm also getting like someone is allowing their pride to get in the way when it comes to a situation you guys could be dealing with the virgo or someone who has virgo somewhere in their chart okay all right Hmm. Someone here might want to come in and compromise with you only because they want, they're want they expecting you to give them something. Or if you own a business, they're, they want to come in and compromise with you so they can use you for your services. This could be someone who just wants to come in and, and use you for free, like get your services for free. Someone thought you were being self-righteous about something as well or... Someone was thinking, like, saying to themselves, like, you you think you're holier than than thou, or you think you're better, or... I don't know. Somebody Somebody's mindset's weird. Um, someone definitely does want to communicate with you, though. We have 10th house here. Somebody... Oh, my God. Yeah, when it comes to your career, maybe somebody here never thought, like... You are going to achieve your dreams, but you are achieving your dreams, or you already did. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone didn't think you were going to be successful. 
someone didn't think you had enough focus or ambition to achieve something here i'm also getting like someone here was trying to confuse other people about you being a good parent i don't know what that's about if you have kids that's not for all of you i'm also getting someone here was casting a, a lot of illusions and confusion for other people when it comes to you because they wanted to negatively affect your public standing your social image your your reputation mm. tell me more we have rabbit someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit Just keep running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Woohoo! Isn't that from the Black Eyed Peas? Someone who wants to travel towards you and be romantic? I don't know about this, Scorps. We have sun here. This person could be a Leo or they could have Leo somewhere in their chart or you do. We got the ox at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. Someone here was definitely being petty. Someone here could have been, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. Someone wants to come towards you with some sort of aggressive, argumentative energy. Someone's egotistical. This could be a baby father. We, on the sun card, it says father figure. Something here about your willpower. People these days. Let's get this out. You're getting love... You're getting love. That's what it feels like to me. Let's see what this love is about. Before we get into this. What's going on with my Scorps? What's going on with my Scorpios and, and this love that's coming in? We have children. Okay? So, you could have children. This person could have children. You could share a child with this person. Or somebody here... Um, What's acting childish? Are they are acting childish? Tell me more. What's going on with this love situation? You could be meeting someone who has children. Somebody here has a lot of passion for you. It says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then it says stay optimistic about your love life. I don't know. This is what you're being asked to do. Scorps. I don't know. I keep feeling like someone wants to be petty about this, though. I don't. Maybe if someone wants, someone finds out you're with someone new, they're gonna act a fool. So don't be telling anyone your business or what you got going on. What do they need to hear at this time? What do my scores need to hear at this time for love? We have research. It keeps coming out. Listen, okay, so I keep getting this message about there's going to be like a lot of snowstorms happening. Like, I think this upcoming winter is going to be heavy on the snow. Like, it's going to snow in places that it normally doesn't snow. Like, it's going to get colder. Okay? Anyway, now that I got that out of the way, we have cold shoulder. It says distant, acting cold ghosting seeming uninterested hot and cold so i don't know this could have been someone here who was off and on with you because they this person was having a hard time trying to like analyze you or figure out what you got going on or someone here could be could have been doing research on you okay ew this is the push and pull person never mind we got push and pull running chasing 
magnetic attraction, drawn to each other, cause and effect. Because now that you're now that you're done with this individual and you're waiting for new love, now this person is like since you're pulling away basically, now this person wants to come in. That's all this means. That's all this means. Yeah, and now all of a sudden they have passion for you. Child, get out of here. Now they want to come in and say I love you. This is a past person. This is a past person that wants to say I love you, but they're in a third party situation. Or that they or they have put you in a third party situation before, whether the third party was like a family member and another romantic partner or their job or something, whatever it is. Someone allowed something to go to get in the way of your guys' relationship. I don't know. Maybe there could be a possibility for forgiveness for this situation. It's up to you. I'm not your mother. I'm not your faja. Let's, let's, let's see what the true intentions of this person is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the true intentions of this person who has all this passion towards my scorps? Reconnection. It says, I know it's been a while. <laughs> this is creepy. Didn't I just say this? It says, it, I know it's been a while, but I miss you being in my life. Okay, so you have someone from your past that wants to reconnect with you. That's who the person that's coming in with this I love you passionate energy vibe. This is the same person that was very on and off, hot and cold with you in the past. Okay, tell me more. What does this person want from my Scorpios? says friendly i'm approaching with nothing but kindness so this is someone's intentions they're approaching you with nothing but kindness this is what they're saying tell me more spirit what is this person's true intentions coming towards my scorps future it says i'm thinking ahead and wondering what our relationship would be like in the future okay i don't know it's up to you child i'm not i'm not you you got to figure it out someone here is thinking about being with you in the future they're coming in with a friendly approach we got bad news at the bottom of the deck it says unfortunately i have some bad news to share so this person's gonna come in with a friendly approach okay they have you in in mind when it comes to the future but they also have bad news to share with you let's find out what the bad news is what's the bad news bears Holy Spirit, Holy Angels from my Scorps. What's going on with the Bad News Bears? What do they need to know? Get together, change. Maybe they're going to they're gonna tell you that they changed their job or they... Or they had to move. That's why... Oh my God. If someone chose something else over you, whatever that thing is, whether it's a person, an addiction, whatever it is, Whatever the third party is, they no longer have this thing, confirmation. They no longer have that third party. And maybe they want to get together with you uh, because you're their last line of survival. Who knows? We got to get together. We got to change. This person is, is they need help. <laughs> I couldn't even say it. This person needs help. Maybe they're too prideful to speak up and, and tell you that they need help, Scorps. This person needs a, a place to live is what the vibe I'm getting, okay? This person's in stress and fear right now. They're tortured with worried, worry and stress. They're having sleepless nights. They could be experiencing nightmares. This person could be a heavy drinker, okay? This person could be hung over. This person is very demanding, all right? um they could have the potential to be violent or they were violent with you in the past all right uh, this person is going through some form of challenge in their life some sort of adversity so they want they want to come in telling you oh i want to reconnect i see you in my future i love you i miss you and then it's also following up with yeah but i, I also need a place to stay i just lost my job or i just um so and so just kicked me out or Whatever it is, they need a helping hand. 
Do what you need to do, Squirt. Do what you need to do. Sometimes, sometimes we can't help everybody. Let's see what the hell going on from my Squirts. Cause hot diggity dang. Someone feels defeated, child. I swear this is too loud. I feel like it is. I'm turning this down. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Lord have mercy. Scorps, this is symbolic. I feel like this is me turning the music up and down, up and down, up and down. Your whole reading is like maybe how this person made you feel. Like how they did with, this is what someone did to your emotions when you were with them. Your emotions were up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't know. Ciao. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Maybe this person's getting older now, and now all of a sudden they no longer want to be a player. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Maybe this person now, it could be man or woman, flip where it needs to go. Um, but this could be someone who now wants to settle down, okay? This could have been a, this could be a fucking Sagittarius that in the past didn't want to commit to nobody and now all of a sudden they do. This person, this I, I don't know, but this is only because they need they need a place to stay or something. We got conflict and defeat. Someone feels defeated. Okay? Someone is witnessing like the song Landslide, things tumbling down in front of them, and they are realizing there is nothing they can do to stop it. Someone here could be 59 years old. Someone here could be born in 1995. Something about the 90s. This person could be self-reflecting on, um, and they're realizing why they're in the situation they're in. They're understanding why they're in this conflict and defeat energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this is giving Five of Swords energy. I feel like there's two people hurt in this situation. Someone here could be born April 12th, don't have to be, or December 4th. Someone sacrificed a home? Someone lost a home? Maybe somebody had realized they had they had to move out. <clears throat> my God, my throat. Someone does not want me to talk about this. Or somebody realizes they are they abandoned their family or something, and they want to they want to make it come back together. We got a new beginning at the bottom of the deck. Someone's stuck. Tell me more. And you're having a new beginning. We have deception, deception and envy. See, like somebody here at one point was like competing with you or was jealous of you. And they no longer want to be this way because they're realizing it's not helping them. Or this person wants to come in hoping you won't see that they're deceptive or envious of you. One or the other. What's the bottom of the deck? Or someone's realizing, yeah, they're realizing they have to let this go. Okay, we got crown chakra. You know about something already. Or somebody knows that you already know that they're being deceptive. Or they know that you're going to see right through them. We have indecision. It says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. And then it says, um, purpose. I know what I am here to do. So you could be someone here who definitely knows who, they're, who they are here to do. What to do. Drah. You know what you're here to do. Gosh dang it, Scorps. And I feel like there's another person here that wants you to feel indecisive about what you're here to do. Tell them to go home, child. We got material harvest. You, you're about to receive some sort of material harvest. Re uh, it says surrender. I can release my need to control. And then we have positive movement forward. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Scorpios? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? 
someone here could have also been trying to block your crown chakra as well scorps because they don't like that you be knowing some stuff i'm also getting somebody here was trying to block your crown chakra because they didn't want you to know what their true intentions are when it comes to you why do we have foundation and achievements or th this could be past tense or present tense that this part or future flip where it needs to go it says there's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker so somebody here it has a lot to lose someone here could have stole a property a real estate or a home from you we have pissed someone here could be pissed because they weren't able to take it from you or something like this someone doesn't want to let go of a home if this is like a divorce situation like if you're in a divorce court with this individual and you're fighting over who takes the home or not Somebody here doesn't want to give it to you, and they're, or maybe they their judgment has been called and the home is for you. You want it in court. Someone could be mad about this. Um, you guys could be saying the angel number 444 a lot. Why do we have sacrifice? We have closed mouths don't get fed. Okay, so... Someone is stuck because of their own doing. Because they won't ask for something. They won't say something about it. We have disengage. Okay, you could have disengaged with someone. Why do we have um, deception and envy in reverse? We have they planned it. So somebody here definitely planned something here. A death spell. So somebody here could have been doing a death spell on you. Why do we have crown chakra? And they did it out of jealousy. We got no. So with the crown chakra saying no... Somebody does not want you to know something. I'm also getting somebody wants you to say no to this beautiful energy here. Someone wants you to say no to a new love. Somebody wants you to say no to love in general. This is a real self-centered individual, whoever this is. We have detective. Don't, if someone, okay, someone here could be getting questioned by a detective and this person keeps saying, oh no, I wasn't involved in that. Oh no, I didn't do X, Y, and Z. No, I didn't, I didn't lie and try to take someone's property or <laughs> whatever it is, right? There's someone here that knows that this person's lying. It could be a detective or it could be yo ass. Flip it where it needs to go. Let me see, um... Let's use these. Listen, I apologize. If this music is loud while you're watching it, I, I'm i saying sorry in advance. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. What is going on? Why do we have... Who, what are they playing, Spirit? What are they playing? Ooh. They plan to try to attack your will of fortune and put a... Did someone here could have tried to do a death spell to your will of karma? Someone try to put a death spell to your destiny. It's inevitable for you to receive something here. And someone here was trying to trying to go against the inevitable. The divine intervened. Whatever someone was trying to send you. Whatever someone was plotting or planning to do to you. The divine intervened. In between. Whatever that thing was in you. To keep you safe. Okay. Someone's trying to put a, 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 a death to your cycle of luck. Because right now, Scorpio, you're going through a cycle of luck. Okay? Somebody here... Okay, so this card also says rise and fall. Somebody here wanted to... Um, someone was couldn't stand seeing you rise. They wanted to watch you fall. Okay? But the divine... J no. The, nah. Why do we have they plan to tell me more? We have mirror... Someone now is self-reflecting on themselves. Someone's realizing that um, they're becoming more self-aware. Okay, this person could be seeing themselves a little more clearly. This could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Don't have to be. Or this could just be someone who's in their feels. Someone's realizing they did something out of ego. Or there's other people realizing this person did something out of ego. Or this person's realizing, fuck, uh, I need to check my ego. Someone here could be going through an ego death. So if someone here sent you a death spell, Scorpio, all it did is is jumpstart their their ego death. Is the vibe I'm getting. Is the vibe I'm getting. All right. I'm also getting like someone planned something here as well because you love yourself. Someone planned to do something to you because you love yourself. Someone here wanted you to not 
someone here, they also wanted you to look in the mirror and not see you for you. Someone here didn't want you to look in the mirror and be like, oh, I love myself. Someone here wanted you to hate yourself or something like that as well. This is someone here who's real obsessed with you, child. They really are. This could also could be someone here who's um, very narcissistic. They could be very vain. Maybe this person cares a lot about what they look like. I don't know. Or maybe that's what someone thought about you. Maybe someone thought that you were very vain. Maybe someone was trying to plan something to unmask you. I don't know. But whatever they found, you're... Whatever this person was trying to find or prove about you, it became it was it was untrue. Whatever this weirdo is, okay. Someone, all it showed is that you love yourself. Someone here was making a lot of comparisons with you and them, and they became very obsessive, very insecure, um, and they took something too far. And they're they're realizing it about themselves as well. They know they took something too far. Someone here could be born in 1984. Someone here could be 48 years old. Why do we have sacrifice? Someone here was trying to be like the judge and, and the jury when it comes to you or something like that. We have hammock. Something here about this hammock keeps, <laughs> keeps coming up. It says rest, relax, time off, pause, suspend, sleep, supported. Someone here doesn't want you to relax. waiting someone here could have been waiting for something here instead of taking action or this is what someone uh, this is what somebody wanted you to be left in suspense having you always like on a string or something i don't know because of their own pride and ego is all over this we have castle at the bottom of the deck Someone here was trying to do a power move. Someone was trying to do a power move on you by making you wait for an answer or a decision um, on how they felt about you. So once again, with the hot and cold energy before, with this person going on and off, back and forth with you, it was their way of having power over you. This person's sick. This person was playing a game with you, okay? And now this person's realizing, like, what they did was wrong. I'm also getting, like, someone was trying to keep you isolated so you wouldn't, you, they're still trying to keep you isolated. Why do we have crown chakra? Because they don't want you to be with nobody else. We have we the people. We have declaration. Reclaiming power. So whoever I'm speaking to, you could be reclaiming your power. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're not waiting for a goddamn motherfucking thing. At least not this person. You're not waiting for them. I don't know. Something is a life or death situation. And this is why you need to say no to someone. Is what I'm getting. Scorpio. If this egotistical person comes back. Trying to act like. Oh I'm coming in with my mask off. I'm going to be real truthful with you. Blah blah blah. This You need to tell this person no. You need to tell them no. Okay. But you can do what you want. You can do what you want. I'm not your mom. I'm not your daddy. I'm also getting like someone didn't play by the rules of the game or something here. Or someone here is trying to protest against some sort of decision that you've already made when it comes to this situation. Or somebody here was trying is, is trying to come back and gaslight you and try to convince you that what you know to be true is not true. And you need to tell this person no 50 feet. 50 feet, please. 50 feet. Something's happening soon. This is going to be happening soon. You're about to reconnect with this weirdo very soon. It says this situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. So this is a warning message. We have blinders. Someone here is trying to side. Someone is trying to um, catch you off guard. This is someone here who has a victim mentality. This person confused. 
this person's gonna come in and try to tell you like, oh, I love you, I know what I want now, sorry for keeping you waiting, whatever it is. And um, this person still don't know what they want. They're still confused. They still are not like certain if they wanna be with you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All they know though is that they don't want you to be with nobody else. That's all they, that's all they know for sure. I'm also getting like, Mm, this person this person believes their own lies or something like that somebody in denial about something I don't know this person might try to come towards you telling you like oh they're tapped into the universe and they know things they're, they're a liar that's another thing that I'm getting it says within a few weeks it says the situation or event in question will develop or unfold within a matter of weeks maybe in august someone's gonna try to blindside you or in august this person's gonna have tunnel vision on you to try to get you um to say yes but you need to say no okay that's for some of y'all not all y'all because with the we the people you're, you're you want an equal give and take we the people. You want equality. You want liberation. This person is not about that. This person is all about control and, and restrictions and limitations. They're all about their love being conditional, not unconditional. This is someone here who doesn't know themselves. They don't love themselves. Someone here needs to face the truth. Someone, Maybe someone is facing the truth, but it's like... It's a little too late. It's like, oh, now you want to face the truth when, when the world is crumbling. Who is this person? Someone's going to come in and try to tell you like they've improved themselves. Or they're going to come in and be like, hey, look, I've been working on myself, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do, Scorps. Who is this person who's in this deceptive and envious energy? This could be a Libra that you're dealing with that's in this deceptive, envious energy, okay? Um, are you going to have Libra somewhere in your chart? Or you're about to get justice for whatever this deceptive and envious person was doing? Or now this deceptive, deceptive and envious person wants to come in and tell you the truth about something and they want to be honest? Now that the world is crumbling around them. We have goat. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. This could be you or the person that's deceptive and envious. Put it where it needs to go, child. Who is this deceptive and envious person that want to come back? Okay, we have feminine energy. I could be speaking to a feminine energy or this person is a feminine energy that wants to come in. Okay? Being deceptive and motherfucking envious. All right, listen, this is feminine energy. This could be in, this could be a man or a woman in feminine energy. Flip it where it needs to go, please. We have Pisces. This, someone here could be a Pisces. They could have Pisces somewhere in their chart. Okay, this could be you or someone else. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone wanna, wants to now bring truth to the confusion. Or they want to bring balance where there wasn't balance. This person wants to get nearby you or they're trying to figure out a way to get nearby you. They're planning something here. Maybe they're planning on trying to run into you on on a whim like like it was like a coincidence in the grocery store or, or at the laundromat or who knows at the at the piggly wiggly whatever it is. Who is this deceptive and envious person, child? We have Scorpio. So you guys could be dealing with another Scorpio that's trying to get nearby you. Or Scorpio, someone's trying to get near you. Or someone here is trying to be real sne sneaky. Someone being s sneaky? Or secretive? Or someone here was saying that you're being secretive. Or someone was accusing you of being secretive? Once again, because of your mysteriousness. I don't know. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. This could be you or this person. <laughs> Um, flip it where it needs to go. I need to stop. I do. <laughs> I can't. Let's get up Big Bertha because we we running out of time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my scores? Maybe this person feels like they're running out of time. Yeah, some sort of rumors and lies are backfiring on somebody. Or somebody wants to now clear the, the confusion with these rumors and lies. Or someone believes some sort of rumors and lies about you, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you. Maybe this person wants to come in and say, I'm sorry, I was gullible, I was dumb. We have Psychic. You could be a Psychic or you, um, 
child someone going to a psychic we got libra someone here could be a libra this could be you or someone else someone here could be a libra psychic okay or somebody here knows that you're a psychic that's telling the, co the cold hard truth about something here okay we have i bought you okay so somebody here wants to say that they bought you for why i don't know we have jerugs something here about jerugs could be of significance maybe you guys are dealing with a psychic who's on jerugs that could have been deceptive and envious of you and wanted to see you fall in some way or was trying to sacrifice you um, when it comes to your foundation and achievements or trying to get you to lose your your foundation or lose your achievements whatever it is somebody here wanted you to be a disgrace my child okay we have new world order new world order okay so something here is going to change the order of things have changed or they're about to Maybe someone doesn't like this new order of things. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What's happening, Captain? What's going on, Spirit? What do we need to know? Okay, so we have Beast with the Beauty and the Beast. So this is a Beast to me. Before he's the Prince, it's like he's a... He's not a Divine Masculine quite yet. <laughs> okay? That's what this is. He's not quite the Divine Masculine. Okay, he could be aware of his divinity, but he's still a beast. Okay, this could be someone here who's still, you know, undisciplined. Somebody here who still gets tempted by their own fleshly desires. This could be someone here who has like a sex addiction or a Jeruga or alcohol addiction or something. A gambling addiction whatever it is it's not it's no bueno i'll say that we got a peaceful person okay you could be a very peaceful person whoever i'm speaking to or this person wants to come in acting like they're a real peaceful person but they a beast because remember in the movie beauty and the beast the beast was not a very peaceful person in the beginning he was like always being like he was like yelling at bell being like why can't you do this why can't you why can't you do that? Roar! Okay? Holy Spirit. Tell me more. We got powerful connection. Okay? So, you and another person could have a powerful connection. Someone feels like they bought you. I don't know why, but they do. Or they feel like they can come in, because this is future tense. Someone feels like they can come in and buy you. Like, buy your love. I don't know. Maybe someone tried to do this in the past. Maybe they're going to try to do it again. We have stealing from the job. Someone here could definitely be stealing from the job, child, whoever this psychic is who's on Jerugs, okay? Or you're a psychic and you're dealing with someone who's doing Jerugs and they're stealing from their job. Or someone here was accusing you of this, okay? Someone here could have been accusing you of doing Jerugs and stealing from the job. Flip it where it needs to go. Be your own leader of discernment. I'm not your mother. I am not your father. I'm your reader. I'm having too much fun right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What do they need to hear? We have singing is healing dang straight. That's right. Okay, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? Maybe somebody here, um, continue to sing, child. We got 70 years and above. All right, so somebody here could be up in age, like real up in age. This could be you or someone else, child. We got prophet. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a prophet. Okay, so listen, y'all. Maybe that's why someone was going around trying to say, like, you think you're perfect. You think you're holier than, than thou. You think you're better than people. Blah, 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 blah. But I feel like that's not it at all. You're just somebody here who's very obedient to God. And this person... It was reflected back on them about how disobedient and undisciplined. It, I don't even know if that's a word. Undisciplined, indisciplined, whatever. How this person's not disciplined. It was reflect back to them like, oh, I need to work on that. But instead of them doing that, they're like, let me attack the person who's making me feel insignificant. Or like I'm not doing enough because they're not. And that's their own guilty conscience. It's not you. If anything, they should be looking at you as, like, motivation. Not trying to tear you down, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Listen, this person could have mocked you. They could have been trying to get you imprisoned, literally, or just in another way. This person definitely wanted you to feel scrutinized. Someone here wanted you to be put to shame, all right? 
This person could have even got you tr like looped into some sort of dangerous situation or try to get you to be put in dangerous situations. This is something that you might be finding out. We got gullible. Someone here thought you was gullible. They thought you dumb. Someone thought you were dumb. We have rumors and lies. Someone here could have been saying a lot of rumors and lies about you, child. Oh, excuse me. But you're about to get justice for this, okay? Something here about a hateful baby daddy could be of significance. We have someone is secretly in love with you. So someone is secretly in love with you, Scorps. We have um, DNA found. So something here about some sort of DNA could have been found somewhere or... <sighs> Somebody knows who you come from or you know who you come from. I hope that makes sense. Like whoever I'm speaking to, like you could have access now to your Akashic Records. <laughs> I said that's so weird. Your Akashic Records, right? So you could, you could already have knowledge of like who you are basically and who you are to become to an extent. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could be a psychic. All right. We have a uh, lack self-love. So somebody here lacks self-love or you could already have some sort of knowledge. You have some sort of sacred knowledge. Someone knows this because of w where you come from or what, what your DNA is. Okay. Does this make sense? Anyway, somebody here lacks self-love. All right. Tell me more. Ooh, we got 888. Eight, eight. You guys can be seeing that number a lot. We have Edgar Allan Poe. Somebody here has a weird obsession with death. They can't help themselves. Maybe someone here was obsessed with seeing something end in your life or obsessed with your life ending. We have you are exactly where you're meant to be. Okay, so whatever's happening right now, it's meant to happen. Okay. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe this is somebody here that don't want you, like I said before, somebody here does not want you to be in some sort of powerful connection, some sort of powerful union here, spiritual union. They're trying to put an ending to this. Tell me more. What else is going on? Spira. Or maybe you're going to, maybe you already know that you're a descendant of a prophet that was once here. Okay. We have um, what goes around comes around. Somebody here about to get karma. Whoever this person is that lacks self-love, that was trying to bring some sort of injustice injustice into your life or they already did, okay? Karma hitting that ass. This is the person who real envious of you. They getting karma, okay? No one's laughing at God by Regina Spector. No one's laughing at God in a hospital. No one's laughing at God in a war. No one's laughing at God when they're something, something, and they're so very poor. Someone's going to lose everything. And they ain't going to be laughing at God. Maybe this is someone who don't even believe in God, and now they're being forced to surrender. God's making this person literally sit down by taking everything away from them. That's... That's what it looked like to me. Or somebody here is going to realize that God is real because of you. Maybe somebody didn't really believe you were psychic. Maybe someone didn't really believe you were connected to the divine or you had uh, any form of divinity or something like this. And they're going to find out. They fucked around and they're going to find out in the worst way possible, Joe. They put hands on you. Dude, touch not my anointed. We have abandoned abandonment issues. You could have triggered someone's abandonment issues here. <laughs> Maybe you let someone go because you knew they were being deceptive and envious. And you're like, yeah, that's bad vibes. You got to go. Maybe you left. Maybe you put this person down gently. Whatever it is, it's still, it still triggered this person. You triggered some sort of situation in this person. We have new world order. The fall of religion. I don't know, child. I don't know. Someone here felt like you were trying to do harm to the world or something. It says release private info about you to hurt you. So someone here could have released private info about you to, to hurt you, to cause rumors or lies or whatever. Who? Let me find out. Give me a second. Who is this envious ass motherfucker? I think we already asked this already. This is someone here that you've known for a very long time or somebody here that you once were in a long term relationship. Or this person has just been envious of you for a long time. This could be someone here who is in your family or someone you have a past connection with. 
Okay, this person could be an Aquarius that's envious of you. Okay, or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Or someone's envious of the amount of healing you have done on yourself. Someone is envious of it. Like I said before, you're like showing a mirror to this person. Maybe this is someone here who's looking at you enviously or with the green eyed, jealous eyeballs. And, you know, they're looking at you like, wow, this person has done a lot, you know, with their life. And this person has done a lot, you know, with themselves within. Like someone here could see your actual growth. Not just like the outside of you, but the inside of your growth as well. Or the inside of you, right? Like someone has seen that you have changed. You have evolved. And I feel like this same person has not changed. That Maybe they're in the same spot that you left them at. Or that they left you at. Whatever it is. And someone's now comparing themselves to you. And they're envious. And they're mad. And it's like... Okay. Somebody wants you to move backwards. Someone doesn't like that you're hopeful. Someone doesn't like how strong your faith is as well. Like somebody here wants you to lose faith. Somebody wants you to lose everything. Somebody wants you to lose everything and be like, um, where's your God now? Or something like that. Someone's, someone's sick. This is a sicko. Maybe this person doesn't realize that you've already been through that. You've already been through tough situations like that. You've already experienced a lot of, you know, rock bottoms or low points in your life. All it did was strengthen your faith. This person's dumb. I don't know who this person thinks they are. They're dumb, though. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig. This could be you or the person that's dumb. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. This is someone here who's a sex fiend. They got a weird sexual situation going on. We got a tiger. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. This is you or someone else. And then we have horse. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse. This could be you or the person. Flip where it needs to go. Someone's traveling towards you for sure. We got a twin flame. Someone's envious about you being with a twin flame. Or you are already with your twin flame. Flip where it needs to go. Oh no, not that. Tell me more. What else they need here? That sticker says thank you on it. Someone here needs to say thank you to you. They need to apologize. You were meant to make this person see themselves so that they can grow. We got screwdrivers. Somebody want to come in and fix something with you or they want to screw something up. They might want to come in and sabotage something for you. Rig something. Set you up. Okay, someone here could be on on the methamphetamine. We got um, codependent friends. Something here about a codependent friend. So this could have been. This may not even have been an uh, an ex. This could have been a friend that you disconnected from. You're like, yeah, I got to go. We're not in the same vibe no more. We don't resonate. And this person, you triggered their abandonment issues. They didn't like that too much. But guess what? You're an earth angel. There's nothing that this motherfucker could do about it. There's nothing that no one could do about it. You're an earth angel here. And somebody here knows that you don't lack self-love. They're just, your earth angelness is just showing them how much they, they lack love for themselves. You got a stalker on the loose, child. There's a stalker out here that's secretly in love with you. Says, tried to break into your house or literally did. We have, or that's what they were planning on doing in the past. Um, we have playing the victim. Someone here definitely could have been playing the victim here. So, okay. So we got playing the victim, new world order. So the order of things that how they were going before they have changed. Someone here can no longer go around spreading rumors and lies about you because of your ascension, how much you've grown. Okay. The proof is in the pudding when it comes to you. So there's other people that are just like not buying what this person's saying about you, Scorpio. Okay. And they're realizing like they're seeing you as this earth angel. And someone here now, whoever was spreading these rumors and lies about you, now this person wants to play the victim. And well, uh, and this is because they're getting karma. We have one month, okay? So something might be happening from now in one month. Like I said, August. Something here about August is significant. So this person could be a Leo, don't have to be. We have shaman, okay? You could be a shaman, all right? We have upset that you're moving on and being successful. So this is all this is about. This is all what this is about. We have manslaughter. I don't know what this is about. Maybe in one month, someone here gonna be conflict, gonna be convicted of manslaughter. I don't know. We got karmic mother. 
Something here about your karmic mama could be of significance, child. Someone's karmic mom. We have L. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an L. This could be you or someone else. We have hidden agenda. Okay, so somebody here had some sort of hidden agenda in order to get you into a manslaughter situation or to convict you of manslaughter. We have I need my fuel. This is a narcissist that is thirsty for your energy. We have wise investment. Someone here thought it was a wise investment to slander you, to ruin your reputation. They're realizing it ain't working. We have ABC News. Someone here gonna be on the news doing something bad, child. Maybe someone their karma is that they're gonna there's gonna be something here on the news about this person um, maybe getting into a vehicle accident where they harm someone. This could be someone here who was hopped up on Jarugs or alcohol and they end up getting into a car crash that that's a deadly one. I don't wish this on nobody. I'm just saying what this look like. Let me see. <sighs> what are these rumors and lies about? There's a false person, okay, who's having obsessive thoughts right now about these rumors and lies. Someone did this because of money or because they were paid to do this, okay? Or they were lying on you because they didn't want you to have some sort of inheritance or something that was left to you, okay? There's something here about money. I'm also getting, if it's not about money, this could have been somebody here that just felt like they were going to gain something by seeing you fall in some way. Somebody thought it was a good risk, a good gamble, and now they're getting the shit end of the stick and they're playing the victim. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, you could be a very wise woman that someone was trying to do this to, or this could be an older woman that was trying to do this to you. Flip it where it needs to go. I'm not your mother. I'm not your father. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I gotta end this soon. So we did Big Bertha. Good. Yay, yay, yay. What else do they need to hear? What other beautiful things can they expect in the near future? Spira. What kind of beautiful things can my Scorps expect in the near future, Spirit? What can they expect in the near future? We have disappointment in a friend or lover. So you're, there's going to be some sort of um, details that are coming out about what has happened. Okay? Or what this person has really, like the extent of everything, of what this person has done to you. It's coming, it's going to, this information is coming towards you. You guys can be seeing the angel number 411 a lot. Tell me more. Piccolo Pete? I don't know what that's about. Someone's name could be Pete. We have victory in some endeavor. So you're about to receive some sort of victory here. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a V. This could be you or someone else. Someone here could be from Venezuela. We have um, Dragon. It says beware of self-delusion. Okay, so somebody here allowed um, their own Delulu mind to, um, you know, drive them into... A dark oblivion, chow. Like I said, someone here is believing their own lies. They were just like breathing fire. Or they're still breathing fire, like talking shit about you, being crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me more, spirit. What the hell going on? You got someone hot, mad. We have Angel. It says spiritual guidance, protection from harm. For So whoever I'm speaking to, you are an angel, okay? You are protected from harm here, child. Somebody mad about it. What else they need to hear? We have parrot. It says someone will gossip about all your secrets. So someone here could be gossiping about all your secrets or this is something that someone has already done in the past. And you're about to find out and you're about to get very disappointed in an in a certain individual because you've you could have trusted this person someone here was trying to get one up on you or one over on you whoever this secretive backstabbing friend or lover is we have lily it says spiritual love okay so uh, somebody here wants to convince you that they are your spiritual love they they want to convince you that you guys are destined to be and that's not true your left ear could be ringing. Show me more spirit. What's happening? 
We have romance, celebration, and party. So you got something to celebrate here soon. Okay, we have lightning. It says control your anger or you'll be sorry. So uh, when you find out about this person um, goss who gossiped about your secrets or whatever, don't get angry. Don't give them an emotional reaction because that's what they want. Tell me more. We have staff. It says you will be taken care of in difficult times. We have carrot. It says an opportunity or a windfall is coming your way, child. You'll be able to celebrate soon. We have gas, gas hopper, <laughs> grasshopper. It says situations in the balance that require careful handling. So you're being asked to handle this upcoming event gracefully, mild tempered. Okay. In order for you to have some sort of victory in this endeavor. All right. We have Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So someone here is going to be acting dumb. Don't roll a, don't roll in the mud with the dumbness with them, okay? We have broken bridge. It says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So somebody here broken a bridge with you. They've burned a bridge with you. It's not something that can be repaired. We have the bottom of the deck. It says bridge. It says successfully overcoming a problem. So someone here was trying to get it, get something to be a roadblock for you. Somebody here wanted to end the road when it comes to you experiencing some sort of opportunity in love, business, career, whatever it is, um, or some sort of finances. They were trying to block your, or close your roads to that, but that bridge is not closed, okay? And this can even be like metaphorically, like the bridge between you and the spiritual realm. Someone here was trying to close that bridge or block that bridge off or burn it. So that you would you wouldn't have a connection with the divine. Sick. Sick son of a bee. Okay, let's get out the shells. This is gonna be loud. Try one more. Okay, let's see what we got. Someone's first motto or last name can start with a V, an H, an E, a Y, an R, a J, a G, an L. Someone here can be 38, 32, 39. We got O, B. Someone here could be 50. We have F, H, N, E. Someone here could be 31 or 37 or 43. 47, we got L, I, N, we have W, M, T, X, A, A, K, someone needs to go to A, A, something here about triple A, Some, somebody's vehicle could be broken down at this time, we have T, C, or somebody here is a mechanic, we have U, or they tow trucks, we have Z, we have J, I, okay, Someone here could be 55 years old. I've been seeing this number all day. So something about the number 55 could be of significance. Um, there's definitely going to be some sort of changes here. Someone here could be a life path 5, 6, 7, master builder number 22, um, master number 33, master teacher. We have 7. Ooh, the number 77 is out here. 66. Uh, someone here could be a life path 4, 1, eight and then we have zero 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 so you guys can be seeing zeros a lot of zeros right now or is this an o i think this is an o okay let's see what we got going on somebody's in limbo someone's in limbo they're stuck They're in limbo for trying to do some sort of um, ending spells on you. This person definitely was in their ego. We got the ego out here. Let go of my ego. <laughs> something here about waffles. Something here about the waffle house could be of significance. Okay. Someone here could have lice. Okay. I don't know. We got lice out here. Or rice someone here could eat a lot of rice
Someone here about to be rich. Or someone's name is Richard. Or someone was doing something to you because they thought they were going to become rich in something. It doesn't have to be about money. It could be about anything. Okay. Someone here could have used AI to do something here to you. We have AI. Someone here could be trying to rile you up. Someone's name could be Riley. Someone's name could be Ryan. Someone's name could be Raya. Or Rayleigh. Raylan. Someone's name could be Bailey. Someone's going off the rails. <sighs> Someone's on hair on. <laughs> or someone here was trying to be like a hero. Someone's trying to claim that you are liable for something. Someone's trying to get you to be liable. Someone here could be from British Columbia. Something here about lab results is of significance. Maybe someone's finding out, like they're finding out the DNA. Like say you're not someone's child or your father's not your father or something like that. Someone's kid's not their kid. I don't know. Someone's name could be uh, George. Someone's name could be Katie. Someone here could be acting very catty. Someone here could dr uh, drive a cab. Okay, or someone takes cabs. Someone's name, someone's name is Jacob. Or something here about Jacob's ladder. <laughs> something about FEMA could be of significance. Something here about an alibi. Someone here could have been using you as an alibi or using someone else as an alibi. Or someone's alibi isn't mathing. The math isn't mathing with someone's alibi because of something that you have spoken out or some sort of truth that has been revealed. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What else? We got yin and we got yang. So something here is definitely being balanced out for you. Your masculine and uh, feminine energies could be balanced within you. Someone here could be trying to call you a meanie now. So someone here, so now that someone has been found out as a fucking liar, now somebody wants to play the victim and say that you're mean. Somebody now wants you to be the bad guy. They want you to be mean or look at something. You, someone wants you to be looked at as someone who's mean or the 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 evil doer in their life or their life story oh my lord someone's name could be megan someone's name could be roy you guys could be seeing a lot of frogs something here about froyo something here about yogurt frozen yogurt Something here was someone here was definitely being a fox in this situation or being real sneaky. Someone's name could be Ty or Ja J. Someone's name could be Elena. Someone's name could be Melanie. We have Alan. We have Eli, Elijah.
Someone's name could be Zachary. Zachary. We got Zachary. Someone's name could be Renee. Irene. Someone's name could be Olga. I don't know. Someone's name could be, um, yeah. Someone's name could be Natalie. You're about to get the tea here soon. Some sort of information. Or someone was pretending that they had the tea. Someone here was calling you a witch. Maybe someone was trying to say you were doing magic on them. And that's why they, they did some sort of death magic to you. Maybe this is because... Or this is, or this is what this person is going to play the victim and say. Because now their whole world is crumbling for fucking with you. So then they're going to go around and start saying like, oh, you're the cause of it. The reason why their life is going downhill is because of you. But it's from their own hand, their own jealous, from their own jealousy, from their own disobedience. Because this person knew better. Someone here could be from Texas. Someone here could eat a lot of Hanes ketchup. Someone here could have lost their job or you might be getting a new job opportunity. We have job out here. I don't know if you heard the ding, but there we go. Someone here could be from Taiwan. Maybe you're going to have to move from one country to another country for this job opportunity. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone's name could be John or Joanne. Someone's name is um Helen. We have Leah. We have Cecile. We have Anna. We have Kurt. Someone's name could be Bert. Someone's name could be Willis. Someone here could be from Wichita. Utah, something here about United, the United Nations could be of significance. Um, what does allegory mean? Someone here would be from Arizona. Hold on. Define allegory. A story, poem, or picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning. Typically a moral or political one. Okay. So some sort of hidden meaning is about to be revealed. Someone's hidden, hidden intention or, or uh, hidden motives are about to be revealed. Chow or the reason behind someone doing to you, something to you is about to be revealed. Someone here could be born in the month of June. We got June out here. Or someone's name could be June. We have Jean. Someone here could have a teen child. We have teen or something here about since you were a teenage child. Something here could have been happening. Something here about your aunt. Maybe you don't realize that your aunt is a witch. Maybe she's been spiritually attacking you since you were a teen. Maybe she was trying to keep you in limbo. I don't know. Or she about to be in limbo. Something here about Jericho. Like the Jericho flowers. They never die. Or they're always... Be, they always... If you put them in water, they always bloom. Or they always get revived rejuvenate you're you you're always rejuvenating and someone's upset about that maybe they were trying to really get you someone here is jealous whoever this person is that keeps doing this to you they're jealous we have elon someone's name could be elon
Someone's name could be Janice. Something is uncanny. Someone wants to hire you for a job. You need to tell them no. This could be from someone who's trying to act like they're not envious and, and, and being deceptive with you. Maybe this is someone here who's envious of some sort of foundation and, and achievements that you have already acquired. And this person is trying to offer you a job so that you can let go of something that you've already been working on or something you've already built. Someone's name could be Luann. Okay, I gotta end this. Someone's name could be Rhett or Brett. You guys could be seeing a lot of lions. <gasps> Should I do this? No, let's do this. No, let's do these. Okay, what do they need to hear? Because I gotta bounce. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear so we can go? We have celebration. You got celebrations coming in, baby boo. You got celebration. Celebrate. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. We have this is a great time in your life. Things are progressing with grace and ease as never before. Ooh, child. Something beautiful is coming in for you. What else they need to hear? What else do my scorps need to hear at this time, child? We got alchemy. You are an alchemist, baby. It says the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing, shift. So something here is really going to change. The order of things are shifting, they're changing, and things that are trying to stay hidden will no longer be. Okay? Or you could be someone who's easily being able to see the hidden meanings behind certain symbolic symbology. Someone's name could be Russell. We have Between Worlds. It says, there is one reality that is slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. Okay? Critical stage. The old and the new. So... We're in the in-between, I guess, between one one dimension and the next is the vibe I'm getting, okay? And you're going to have a lot to celebrate. We have Ascension. It says, and I feel like whoever else, there's, there's certain individuals that are going to be sacrificed or under judgment when we get into the new world is the vibe I'm getting, okay? Or the new dimension, the new... We have ascension. It says you are shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. Time to soar to new heights. Okay. This is going to be a new chapter of your life where you're going to be thriving. Things are going to be taking off for you. Okay. Things will be increasing. Ciao. This is beautiful. Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, Scorps. I love you. Okay. Bye.